Okay. This is Amanda, and I've been seeing Amanda for her cervical shoulder syndrome for six, seven years off and on. And I first saw you in 06, and we worked on you for about eight, nine visits. And uh, so tell us about your neck problem. How long have you been dealing with it? Um, I guess it started in 2006, and I can remember waking up one day, and I couldn't turn my head. Okay. Went to a um, orthopedic doctor and just basically took anti-inflammatories and stretch, but I, it still persisted. So that's when I pursued another option. So how did you find me? Do you remember back then? Looking up through my insurance okay, providers. Because okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. I, I was specifically looking for somebody that was an MD, but also could do acupuncture okay. just because I wanted both sides of the coin. Who suggested acupuncture to you way back when? I think I read it. I think okay. I just, it was just, I was curious okay, okay. about it. Um, and then, um, so this bit, this is probably has been going on off and on. And then I saw you in 2010. Mm -hmm. Apparently, you got better, and then it flared up again. How long ago? A year ago? Yeah, it's been about a year. And uh, you went to back to the orthopedic doc. And this time they did an MRI and said it was a protruding disc. Um, and that they sent me to a pain management doctor who then injected three rounds of cortisone okay. every two weeks. Okay. And that gave you some relief? It gave me some relief, yes, for One, about six months. 100% relief? Mm, probably about 90. 90, okay. Yeah, 90. So you could sleep well, your range of motion was good. Were your jaw still tight during that time frame? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, then, and then what happened? Um, then I started feeling the tingling and the numbness again and the stiffness in my neck. Um, and so the, I went back to the pain management doctor and the option was let's do another round of cortisone. And a light bulb went off and I just thought I don't want to be under anesthesia again three times in a row. And I don't want the cortisone injected in my body again. Again, just reading things and okay. so thought I just needed to come back here and because it was helpful last time it did calm everything down okay for that long of a span mm -hmm. so uh, they were actually gearing you up for surgery yes they had said eventually you'll probably have to go and have surgery now the surgeon gave you a warning what was the warning well I was told I love to run I was told you probably shouldn't do that anymore because the impact on it could be, you know, could be more harmful than beneficial. But you love the run. That's the only way I relieve stress. And so I've missed it, which, you know, brings on other feelings of depression. And, you know, like that's what I love to do. And I haven't been able to do it. And you have weight gain and that makes you feel bad and you, you can't relieve the stress. Now, did he tell you if you got the cortisone injections that was going to weaken your spine? They didn't tell you that? No. Right? They, did they tell you that if you eventually would have had surgery, you were going to be handicapped? They didn't, they didn't even prep you for that, huh? They didn't tell me that. I think the light bulb was seeing my mother having had back surgery oh, okay. and where it has brought her in her life now 10 years later. And I don't want to be there because okay. it's debilitating. So would you recommend this therapy for folks? Yes, and I have. Okay. Um, now, did the other doctors, the pain management doctor or the orthopedic doctor, tell, suggest this type of therapy at all? Was it on the table? No, I brought it up to the physician's assistant when and I went to the doctor, and he happened to be a licensed acupuncturist. Oh, okay. And he's the one when I, he, but he's not practicing. Okay, okay. In the pain management office. So okay. Always. So when I told him that this was an option that I'd like to explore further or that I'd like to go back to that, he said, I think you should. Okay. But the doctor never said it. Okay. Thank you very much.